All right, guys, so I rolled out the Bonneville, and um, I got the front fender polished for the last step. Uh, so what I did was, I'm not really familiar with this buffer. It is a high-speed buffer. Spins out of my comfort zone. I'm used to regular buffers with a single motion. This is a dual-action high-speed buffer. Um, spinning at about... Usually for a cutting compound, you're between 12 to 1400. And if you're polishing, you're between like 1100 to 1000 RPM. Um, and this one, man, uh, this thing kicks ass. I love it. It's my uh, friend who I just lovingly call Batman. Uh, he actually painted the car uh, three years ago. Um, I wish I had a YouTube page when I did all the body work to it. I did it right here in this garage. And uh, we had this car down to nothing. It was just the body and the frame and the engine was still in it. And I did all the body work, did all the prime work, did all the jams and everything. And then we took it to my friend's place and he sprayed it. And this paint job has held up exceptionally well, considering the fact that I really do beat up the car. I don't wash it or take care of it like I should. Um, this is actually the first time it's been buffed in three years. Uh, we never went back and buffed it after it, it was done. And, uh, you know, it, 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 for the use, this, this car is actually buffing out really nice. But a couple of things. You see, I got the tower lights over here. These are LEDs. You really want halogens for this. It's just the way that the light reflects off of the car. The LEDs are white bright, but it's, nah, it's not as the same as a halogen. I don't really appreciate it. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to make it out, but there is like right there you see some kind of minor scratches. This car really needs a cut with like some 3000 grit, but those are really fine scratches that you really won't see because it's a light color. If this was black, that would show up. And on this door, I need to go over it again with compound. You can really see a lot more scratches, a lot more hazy marks and stuff like that. Sorry if my phone keeps going in and out of focus. And I did half of the roof and this quarter panel, and then I'm gonna move the car over Move all my shit over to the other side and finish it up. So um, it's been a while since I actually used a buffer. Uh, when I used to work for Lexus, I used to do everything but paint. I don't like painting. I'm a slow painter. So in a production setting, it's not ideal. Um, so when I was working at Lexus, all the painter did was paint. And all I did was fucking bodywork, assembly, buff, sometimes prep and prime and stuff. So um yeah, where I'm at, I strictly do just body work now, and I'm, I haven't buffed in a while. So um, the last time I buffed, I actually think, was when we did this car. So, And then my buddies kind of shoved me aside because it was my, my buddy Batman and uh, my other friend Rojo Fro. Uh, so um, we when we buffed it, they're like, get out of here. So, And then, you know, when I sanded it... Um, you know, you get you get rusty, and I, I sanded a lot of the car, and then when we buffed it, there was a couple of nibs that I missed, so, you know, as, as we buffed, we addressed it, and, you know, buffing fresh paint is different than cured paint, and this is actually practice for my wife's car, but uh, I'm really happy with how the fender turned out, and uh, it's turning out good uh, for a race car. This paint is still actually in really, really good shape. And uh, I think I washed this car like twice this year. And the guy at work did it because I was too lazy. I just rolled it into the wash bay and said, wash it. And our washing gear is not the greatest for having a body shop. Yeah, not the greatest. But he does a good job for what he does. Um, so either way, um, I'm going to get these panels done. And then I'll do a little... Um, a little follow-up but uh, real fast so when you guys between processes so I used a I'm using a, a heavy cut which really I think this would be a lot better with a wool pad I'm using a foam pad to buff like this that's a polishing pad though but it's much like that just harder um, this is a heavy cut compound with a wool pad those scratches that I have on the car would probably come out with a wool pad. I just didn't want to hit it with a wool pad. Um, I just kind of wanted to do a detail. I'm not looking for a show car here. This thing's going to look really good out in the sun. Um, and again, this is practice for my wife's car. So uh, kind of brushing up here. Her car is new and 
low miles, but it was a fleet vehicle, I think, for a dealership. And I, I think it saw the car wash way too much. And it's got a lot of little, little scratches. So it needs a little buff job. So either way, between your process, wipe the panels down. Use a little quick detail spray. I love that stuff. I've been using that Meguiar's quick detail mist and wipe, wipe for years. I love it. That's my favorite. That's as close as to this pink stuff we used to have at the one shop I worked at. Um, it's a nice little detail spray. So um, I'll let you guys go. All right. So I got this thing done. Uh, it's looking really nice. The reflection on this thing is amazing. You can tell... I spent a lot of time on the bodywork. Yes, I'm patting myself on the back. Uh, the reflection is still nice and straight. This car really hasn't acquired any bumps or dents despite the abuse. Um, paint's still holding up pretty good. It really does need a cut, but it actually cleaned up surprisingly well. Of course, I left the rubber on the quarters. But uh, onto the other side, so I gotta move the car. I'm gonna pull this outside and uh, just move it over. Um, and, uh, it's the same procedure, same thing. I just wanted to show you guys the finished product. Um, you know, not bad for a couple hours. You know, I cleaned it down. I cut it, polished it, and then we did a hand glaze and wiped it all off with a microfiber and she's pretty good. The hood's not getting buffed because the hood, I have to sand it down anyway to do the paint. So I'm not worried about the hood. The roof turned out good. Literally, you could see the difference from one side to the other not only because there's dirt on it but it just it it uh maybe if i show you guys you know you can look closely at the paint even though this is dirty you can see how grainy the paint looks compared to this side and there's a tiny bit of orange peel we left in there you know, we weren't worried about making this a truly flat, clear surface. We left a little bit of orange peel in there and with the intention of going back and buffing it. And here we are over three years later buffing it. So, uh, yeah, just a little something a little different for you guys. So um, hope you guys enjoyed it. There's not a whole lot to buffing a car again. Um, I could show you guys what I do, but honestly, there's guys out there that are better who put better videos. I'm just showing you what I'm doing and I hope... That's not a bad thing. So, you know, I, I, I want to, you know, there, there's a lot of really good info out there from guys that are amazing detailers. Um, I just, I know how to buff in a production setting and I know how to make things look pretty good. But there's guys out there who would probably spend a little bit more time on this and really bring it back to life. But this was just practice for me to do my wife's car. So share, like, subscribe, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, you can follow me on Instagram as Copper Cutlass. You can follow me on uh, Facebook as Copper's Garage. That one's specific. So we'll see you guys later.